What's up guys, your boy JC, welcome back to another video. Um, in this video, we're gonna be installing this AFR gauge. <laughs> So um, today I'm just going to throw on this uh, narrow band sensor from my uncle. It's off a of Passato or Corrado or something like that. There's three wires, red for power, yellow for signal, and black for ground. Um, it's not going to tell me much, but it does give a good visual. So, Okay, so the red wire um, is power. It just goes to something with ignition power. So I just added like a, add a circuit to it. It's going to have two fuses into the fuse box. Pretty simple. And um, the yellow is a signal wire. It, you connect this to the O2 sensor under the car. Um, probably going to be a black wire that we're going to um, <clears throat> connect this to. Finally, there's this black wire. It's the ground. It just goes to a chassis block. I added a ring terminal to the end of it. So just before uh, working on anything electrical, disconnect the battery is the first step. So that's what we're doing here straightforward now I'm just showing you guys we're gonna put this gauge on we're probably gonna move the uh, rear defrost switch to the bottom here and this is gonna take its place um, this thing though it's not made for this car and so when it clicks on it's hard to take off so what we're gonna do is we're gonna route the wires but we're not gonna push it in all the way just yet until all the wiring is complete and then here I'm just showing you guys that finally the uh, rear defrost is in but I took off the uh, bezel and if you have never taken it off before um, it's pretty simple There's three screws, one here, another one here, and one here behind the uh, radio. And um, take the radio off, and then behind the uh, climate control, there's two screws here, and one eight mil um, screw here. I mean bolt, one eight mil bolt here. And then the climate control should just pull off after taking off the uh, levers. And um, that's it. The bezel should come off. And the hardware is the same, so don't stress about it too much. All right, so now we have the wiring pushed all the way through. So um, let me show you guys what's up. So looking at the fuse box, we're probably going to go with uh, number nine on this list, which is the... Uh, rear defroster since it gives ignition power so we're just gonna count nine fuses and that's where we're gonna plug in um, the red power wire and we're gonna put two fuses on there for the ground we're gonna use uh, this chassis ground to the left of the fuse box which is right here kinda hard to see but we're just gonna undo this nut here throw the ring terminal over it and uh, tighten it and that should be good and obviously the yellow signal wire let me go ahead and show you guys um, see that grommet there in the middle of the screen that's where I decided to uh, route it through to get through the firewall and into the bay and then from there it's gonna go directly down to the O2 and I'm gonna show you guys more of that in a sec alright so here from the strut tower that's that grommet there from the other end you can see the yellow wire coming out of it it's all vacuum tight so to prevent leaks and it's all like uh, sealed pretty well there um, we're probably gonna cover that wire and now we just jack up the car make sure you have a jack stand underneath it crawl underneath and there you go um, there's our signal wire there we're just gonna undo some electrical tape around the O2 sensor and um, wire it in to that black wire. Obviously, power wire is connected, the ground is connected, and um, the signal wire is connected at the bottom of the car. I haven't pushed in this gauge yet. Just want to make sure that um, everything works before I push it all the way in. Um, but yeah, let's uh, let's test it out. And here goes nothing. 
All right, looks like we're getting an indicator light there. And so far that looks to be working. So probably gonna push that all the way in now. But yeah, so far that looks pretty good. So as you can see, um, that's not gonna help us like tune the car or anything. It doesn't really give us like a numerical value, but it is pretty cool as a visual. Like it tells you if um, you're all the way lean or rich on throttle and if you're where you're supposed to be at idle. So it's pretty neat. All right, and here's just a shot of uh, what it does when it's warmed up and idling. So I think it's good. All right, guys, that's it for today. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. Always remember to set yourselves apart, and until next time, peace.